watch the adventures of Muhammad Ali. Just wait till I catch it on shore and I'll bash it, the dumb. Does it come out of the water? Only at night. Then how do you know? I know. Have you seen it? Just part of it. Well, what does it look like? It's scaly and bad. How big is it? Pretty big. Then why doesn't somebody do something? Well, everybody's afraid of it. I'll bet we know somebody who wouldn't be afraid of it. It's okay. He's with us. Hey, what's your name anyway? Henry. You're an Indian, aren't you? Hey, Uncle Ollie. This is Henry. Henry's an Indian. Hi there, Henry. Ouch! Take it easy on my hand, Henry. That hurts. Well, if you want to know what I really think about this next man I'm going to fight, I understand he's so ugly, skinny, and weak. I might not even bother to come. I might just send my man Henry. He takes care of the light work. Who's Henry? What do you mean, who's Henry? Listen, I'm going to tell you who Henry is, and he's standing right here. He's a real close friend of my nephew, Damon, and he's strong. Let me tell you how bad he is. Only last week, he wrestled an alligator, tussled with a whale, handcuffed lightning, and throw thunder in jail. The man is bad. She looks like Muhammad Ali. Now, if Henry don't want to, I might just have to come myself. But if I have to, I'm ready. Look, I'm so ready. Last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Sounds like him, too. Look, I'm so ready. I'm already back home reading the next Tuesday's newspaper. What round will it end? Well, that will depend. If he comes after me, I'll finish him in three. If that don't do, I'll get him in two. If he does fancy tricks, I get him in six. If he don't want to fight, he should stay home that night. Hey, champ, why don't you save some of that good talk for tomorrow? Miami reporters, TV from Tampa, they'll be here at 10 o'clock. But if he gives me some jive, I'll stop the chump in five. It's this big alligator that does these things. He's scaring people away. There won't be anyone left in Henry's whole village. You've got to do something. It isn't just any old alligator. It's old Rodagilla. It's an old Indian legend, and Henry's grandfather says that it only... That it only comes out once every hundred years. And that always means something terrible. Like then the world is coming or something. If everybody leaves, there won't be any village, and somebody will take all the land. And Henry won't have any place to live, so... 
We saw him, too. Anyway, we saw what he tried to do to Henry. He tried to drown him. So we threw this vine. Where did you say that this old ugly alligator hangs out? You mean out there? And all that mean-looking, wet-looking, nasty, swampy-looking stuff? Yeah. That's uh -huh. right. I see. Well, just what do you guys have in mind? You have to catch him. Oh, well, I'm not really sure I can do that. You aren't afraid of him, are you? Me, Muhammad Ali, afraid? I should say not. But you caught me at the wrong time. I'm busy now. I got this big fight in Miami. Hey, champ! Nikki? Damon! Now, where could that Ollie be? Bad news. Oh, even the dog is gone. Hey, good morning, fellas. Champ will be right with you. I hope. Anybody care for a cup of coffee? Mm-mm, boy, this is mighty pretty, pretty country. How many people live in this village of yours, Henry? We're about a hundred, but not anymore. Not since Rodagilla. Sounds pretty mean, this alligator. This Rodagilla. All alligators are mean. Yeah, but are you sure they just don't look mean? They're sneaky, too. You never know what they're gonna do. I caught some fish the other day, and I hung them over the side, and this big alligator came sneaking up and... Was it Rodagilla? I don't know. Some dumb alligator, anyway. such big waves. They knocked our house down. We're going someplace else. Hey, don't leave. There's nothing to fear. Muhammad Ali is here. Go back to your home while I write this poem to say to him that he is wrong, that alligators and people should try to get alone. Henry, I hear he gave you a little dunking. Sorry to hear that. You all right? Okay. Bad situation. Big man back there looks familiar. I've seen him someplace before. Yeah, so have I. Hey, Henry, what are they surveying? I don't know. Somebody's always surveying something. Been here all summer. They rented an old house for my grandfather. coming tonight, Grandfather. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Might as well all go to bed. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Stay out of the water, Henry. Good night. Night. Night.
little talk with that thing. He's just too noisy. Hey, listen here, alligator. You stop all of that racket. You're interrupting things, you hear? We're trying to get some sleep up here. Now, that's better. Where does this thing live? I mean, where in the world does he come from? He always comes from that direction. Nobody's ever been there. Well, Damon, Nikki, let's get started. Know where it is? Know how to get there? No, I don't. But one thing I learned a long time ago, I know you sure don't get any place unless you go someplace. This is the way, all right, no doubt about it. We're going forth, aren't we? We're going forth in search of this big, ugly, bad, mean alligator. And if we go far enough forth, we're bound to come upon him. I hope you're right. What do you mean you hope I'm right? I am right. I'm always right. Did you ever see anything that looked more like alligator country in your life? Well, fellas, I believe this will do. I think this is a nice spot. Let's make camp here. I don't know how long it's been since I've had a chance to go camping. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, this feels good. It's beautiful. Just absolutely peaceful. You have any idea where we are? Nah, but it sounds like we're getting closer. It sounded awfully close last night. Did you hear it? Sure did. Terrible racket he makes, isn't it? Uncle Ali thinks we're almost there. We're gonna have a friendly little talk with this alligator. You know, kind of explain things to him. Let him know how we feel. Good luck. It's all blocked up, Uncle Ali. How deep is it? About right here, Henry. About waist deep. Seen any alligators lately? No. Nah. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to take this situation in my own hands. 
This is just the sort of thing Paul Bunyan used to do. A big, strong man like me. I heard that one time he picked up a whole... Uncle Ali? Okay, get yourselves together, gang. Time we were starting back. Back? That's right. That's what I said, back. We've been doing all this going forth just to fool the alligator. You know, to make him think that he didn't have to worry about us anymore. But now we're going to surprise that sucker. Maybe he's not coming at all tonight. Well, yeah, maybe. Almost morning. <laughs> Tell everybody to come on. Tell your granddaddy. Tell your grandmama. Tell everybody who want a ringside seat. Tell them the main event is about to begin. Muhammad Ali, the greatest fight of all times, whooped everybody in the world in boxing. Now he's in the swamps looking for crocodiles and alligators. Okay, sucker. All right. You asked for it. I'm on my way. Why don't you raise the volume up on the moaning? My, my, my. You are ugly, son of a gun. Ooh, I heard you was ugly. You are ugly. Boy, somebody went through a whole lot of trouble creating you. What was that? Oh, it sounded like air compartment number two. Come on, man. Stop pushing. Air compartment number three. Well, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. There must be something wrong with the equipment. Listen, why don't you stay out of this? I'm goodness gracious. you off easy. You're lucky. Then get out of here, go home, and behave yourself, or I'll give you a rematch. Hiya, Mr. Bulgus. Hello there, Henry. Wow. Boy, look at these muscles. Ooh, you're big. Did you ever do any boxing? Oh, no, sir. I'm in the restaurant business, but... Mr. Bulgus collects frog legs. But I, I'd certainly like to have your autograph. I've seen you on closed-circuit television. 
I, I wanted to ask you sooner, but you seemed pretty busy. Thank you, sir. I never thought I'd meet you in person. Uncle Ali, how did you know Roddy Geller wasn't real? Well, now, I knew these Foxy fellas weren't real surveyors right away. You know, they even had it spelled wrong on one of their boxes. I figured if you can't spell it, then you can't do it. Then I saw one of them looking through the wrong end of the thing they looked through, and it just didn't add up. Man, where have you been? I've been looking all over the southern part of the state for you. Don't you know we've got a lot of... Hey there, Frank. A little alligator trouble down here. So that's how I knew foul play was afoot. Some was wrong, some wasn't right. Selfish corruption was on hand. I just knew things didn't add up. Hey, Frank, did you see those guys in that funny boat? Oh, forget it. I'll take care of them later. You know, all the time, I figured it was a man-made alligator stopping people from sleeping, confusing, frightening people, driving them to distractions, taking me out of training. I, I just knew something wasn't right. There she lies, Frank, just like the rest of my big, bad, ugly enemies. If those no-good surveyors had won, they would still be stealing, scaring, and running people off their land. I'm sure thankful that Damon, Nikki, and Henry came to get me to solve this problem. Or if I hadn't come, this thing would still be doing all the dirty work. You mean that thing? What is it? Doesn't look so dangerous to me. You know me, I'm Muhammad Ali. Ain't I pretty? You know, to stay like this takes a lot of work, a lot of exercises. Not only that, it's not just punching the bags, jumping rope, jogging, boxing that keeps me ready, but it's getting a lot of rest, eating good food and exercises and doing it every day. You know, physical fitness is not just something you do three times a week in a gym class. You must have the right attitude. You must concentrate, keep your body in condition so that your body can take care of you. Now I know what I'm talking about. Look at me. Friday. Creature. Feature. What was that? Fridays. Lights up. Shut up and watch. Feature Feature Fridays, Waxwork, followed by Waxwork 2, Friday starting at 8 p.m.